Hi, everybody. Welcome to this new webinar. Um, I am Chiara Medici, Digital Marketing Manager at Technographica. This webinar in particular is uh, even more special than the others because we are doing it in collaboration with MAPEI uh, today. In fact, uh, um, in, they are here with me, uh, Stefano Lamberti from Technographica and Nathaniel Woodhead. Hi, guys. Nathaniel Woodhead from MAPEI, sorry. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, so, um, I'll just give you some uh, technical information about the uh, webinar before we start. Uh, you have, as usual, the chat section uh, where you can uh, write down your questions if you, um, if you have something to uh, ask. And uh, um, there will be a Q&A session at the end of the webinar, so uh, Stefano or Nathaniel uh, will be glad to reply. Um, if you have some more uh, doubt or information uh, to ask for, uh, you can just uh, contact Technographica or MAPEI uh, through our uh, website, so www.technographica.net or www.mapei.com. Um, then, in the uh, document section, instead, you can find some PDF files uh, that can give you uh, some more technical information about uh, the products we are uh, talking about today. And uh, um, just to remind that this um, webinar is recorded, so uh, tomorrow you will receive an email uh, with the, uh, a link that you can use to watch this video again. Um, I believe that's all. I just uh, leave the word to my colleagues. Uh, first of all, Stefano uh, will speak about Technographica and then Nathaniel uh, who will speak about MAPEI. So, Stefano? I'll leave you the word and I'll share your screen. Perfect. Okay, you should have received the okay. notification. Yes, just receive it. Perfect. Do you see it? Do you see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, thanks so much, Kiara, for the, um, the introduction. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank um, MAPEI and uh, for, for this uh, webinar that we are doing. In, uh, collaboration and actually we are doing a series of webinars in different languages all in collaboration with MAPEI in order to show how to perfectly install our H2O waterproof wallpaper with the correct and right um, MAPEI products. I would like to uh, thank also um, my colleague Nathaniel here which will um, do a speech after mine uh, during this uh, English version of the webinar and will explain a bit more about the uh, MAPEI products, and in particular the MAPEI products used for the installation of our waterproof wallpaper, which is the um, subject here today. So um, I would like to start giving you a bit of information regarding Technographica. So uh, basically Technographica is a 29 years old uh, company. Uh, here I'm just showing you uh, quickly just to give an idea of our uh, reality. So, um, as mentioned, the Technographic is a 29 years old uh, company which is now basically divided in two different departments. So, one department is taking care about um, producing, uh, marketing, and selling the, uh, our uh, wallpaper and decorative panel lines, while the other department, which is the uh, first department of uh, the company in terms of uh, uh, when it was uh, founded. It's uh, um, the design for the ceramic tile uh, department. So this means that uh, in this uh, uh, part of the company, we are actually uh, creating digital files that we sell to the most important ceramic tile um, manufacturers and companies, and also other type of uh, um, of suppliers of uh, of coverings. And they, of course, are going to uh, print our designs on their own uh, on their own materials. So. Uh, of course, we take the experience from this uh, uh, department of uh, design for the ceramic tile industry, where we are leader, uh, world leader uh, in terms of this uh, of this sector, and we use this experience. We used this experience to found uh, to found six years ago our wood covering Italian wood covering uh, department and uh, and branch. So it's um, important for us to take the experience from. Uh, uh, from our past and use it also in, in our future. So with our uh, wallpaper and the current product lines. Just to give you a quick idea of myself, I am Stefano Lamberti, as Chiara already uh, mentioned. I am head of sales and marketing here 
in uh, Technographica, and I uh, attended all the uh, webinar that you that you saw maybe in the last few in the last few months, the English webinar, while my colleagues were doing the uh, other language webinar. So it's important for us to do these webinars in order uh, for the professionals to check our recordings in the future and if they have any technical uh, issue or they need to have a bit of more information about our products or my products in this case they can always check this uh, uh, webinar uh, records or of course they can ask us for uh, uh, information anytime so um, let's start here with the uh, wallpaper so the focus of this webinar of course is our uh, waterproof wallpaper, which is a fiberglass wallpaper that we call H2O. Um, I'd like to give you a quick idea of uh, the different designs that we showcase on our website. So you can see here uh, different type of environments with our wallpaper inside. Of course, there's a lot of different type of, uh, uh, of designs, of style, and all this design can be also printed on our waterproof wallpaper. So basically we have different type of uh, wallpaper substrates. And since everything we do is uh, uh, made on demand for each specific project, uh, these wallpaper and also the decorative panels that we sell are all digitally printed. So this means that they are made on demand for the project. This also means that all the designs that we have can be printed on all the finish and finishes and substrates that we that we provide. So let, let's take an example here. So if we open this uh, uh, this one, for example, which uh, it's also the same that I have behind my back, you can see uh, the full environment and the full development of this uh, wallpaper, the color variations that uh, this wallpaper have. And sometimes you can check also uh, projects where the real projects where a specific wallpaper and design was, uh, was used. So this is interesting to understand how this wallpaper could fit in your environment or in a commercial project. Um, I'm using basically our website to show you um, different details of our, of our problems. And um, if you go in the wallpaper section, which is the one where we are now, you can also use this uh, uh, fancy buttons here, here to either filter by styles and colors. So if you're looking for something, uh, let's say animalier, blue, light blue shades, you can apply filters. Uh, let's see if we find something. Yeah. So these filters helps a lot in terms of uh, when you're looking for something specific, uh, you can actually choose different type of sides and colors and uh, uh, the, filter, the filters will uh, redirect you directly to uh, the wallpaper that the, the, the website thinks might be good uh, for you based on your search. So filter button here where you can choose different type of options. And an interesting and fancy button is also this one which is the collections one and you can check here um, all our wallpaper collection which basically are divided in uh, either capsule collections or uh, main collections so bigger collections either uh, done by artists like Andrea Pazienza or Italian masterpieces which is our collection that we did in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, Cultural Her uh, Heritage the Italian one where we basically had the permission from the Uffizi galleries to print in very high resolution and propose uh, a selection of some uh, canvas that we selected together with them. So you can check here just an example, Birth of Venus by Botticelli. This in a wet environment, so the perfect finish for this type of uh, design will definitely be the H2O waterproof wallpaper. So this was just to give an idea of uh, uh, collaboration that we did, but of course you can check also other type of uh, uh, collections. Let's take the Animal Day one, for example. 
and yeah, you have some uh, here. You have the the signs that compose this uh, this collection. Let's open this one, for example. And again, here you have the environment where you can see the wallpaper laid on a wall and different type of color variants based on every specific project. So this was just to give you an idea uh, of the different type of designs that we have, and I. Uh, suggest you to uh, surf our um, website to, to discover new uh, designs. We have also, uh, we are actually coming up with a new design every week. So every week you can find new designs over here. Uh, I showed you this also to, give, also to uh, let you know again uh, one more time that all the designs that you are seeing here can be also printed on our um, waterproof H2 wallpaper finish, which right now I'm going to show you. So you can go here on the finishes section of our web website, and you will see that you can choose uh, between the wallpaper or the cartridge bands. Let's check the wallpaper finish today. Okay, so these are the different finishes that we uh, provide. This is the sandwich wallpaper, <coughs> this is the fabric. The TNT and the skin. These last three are our vinyl options, and we already spoke about this in previous webinars, so you can uh, check them to have uh, a bit more information regarding this uh, finishes. This is the natural. We also uh, spoke about it on a previous webinar, and this is our cellular fiber wallpaper, which is 100% uh, ecological with no PVC and no chemical solvents. And also, the inks that we are using for this particular wallpaper are water based. So this is an interesting option for residential projects, for example. And here we have the H2 wall, wallpaper. So um, this is a fiberglass wallpaper. I have a piece here. Like so. so I don't know if you can actually see this, but uh, of course it's, as you can see, it's a wallpaper, it's a fiberglass, so it's very light and it works as a uh, traditional wallpaper in terms of installation. Of course, it needs to have correct um, sealing products. Uh, and my colleague Netanyahu will talk about it later. Uh, the most important thing regarding um, this uh, finish uh, is the fact that it can be uh, installed in wet environments, such as uh, kitchens, bathrooms, even uh, shower boxes. And, uh, uh, we have a video that we will see later that shows exactly how to install this type of uh, uh, finish on a water on a uh, shower box. So H2O is our fiberglass option. Uh, the width of this uh, wallpaper is 90 centimeter, and then it goes up to the edge of the wall. As for all the other um, finishes that we that we provide into the market. So again, every design and uh, every project is made uh, on demand based on every specific uh, project. So we create the products that will perfectly fit the project in which uh, is, uh, it, will, it will go. So uh, also for this type of uh, finish, we use um, our SD technology in terms of scanning the images to be then uh, to printing back then, them on, uh, on, the, on the substrate. Uh, SD uh, technology means super definition technology. So this is something that we have from our uh, ceramic tile experience. We have uh, several uh, scanners that can scan uh, up to 3000 DPI uh, stones, natural materials, materials that we create ourselves in our laboratories. And then we, once we scan this image, we can work on, the, on it uh, digitally. So through programs such as uh, Photoshop, for example. And uh, uh, once we modify this uh, uh, design, in the way we want, we can print this on different type of uh, finishes. Can be decorative panels, can be wallpaper. And among the wallpaper, um, we have different type of finishes as we saw, and the H2O is uh, the one we are focusing today and the one that goes in the web environment. I'd like to show you right now uh, very quick how um, uh, pro wallpaper projects look, looks like. So let's check, let's check this one. So this is a project we did uh, recently. 
and that is actually the project we did for the video that we will see later so you can you will recognize this uh, installation later on so again this is a lane, a lane scheme that shows uh, which models are you going to get and how the final job will uh, look like when the installation is uh, is done so basically these are all models of 90 centimeters in 90 centimeters in width uh, by the eight of the actual wall as you can see there are there is this uh, red frame which is the wallpaper that the wallpaper that we will give you uh, more than you actually need so that you can frame it and the wallpaper will perfectly fit on uh, on the wall it's actually pretty easy to uh, to install there is no overlapping between the models so you just put one model after uh, the other following the lane scheme and you will reach the final uh, the final uh, scheme as you see on the lane scheme uh, of course and uh, right now i'd like to show you some uh projects with it with this uh, uh, waterproof uh, wallpaper so these are all wet environments or uh, bathroom environments and these uh, these are all uh waterproof wallpaper so h2o fabric glass installed in the same way as uh, we will see later on and this is pretty interesting because it's uh, everything is really made on demand and the fact that we can even uh, work on our design if there is a, a request of changing something or uh, clients need to have a different color or maybe for the shape of the wall they need to have a different uh, angle of the design uh, everything is digitally made of course uh, uh, we cannot we can we cannot do uh, everything but most of the thing that uh, clients are asking us we can we are able to to, to do it or uh, if there is a problem we are able to, to solve it in terms of lead time just to give an idea after uh, confirmation we will be ready to dispatch our waterproof wallpaper in about uh, 10 working days uh, this product is dispatched in uh, carton boxes very light can be dispatched worldwide with uh, uh, traditional shipping companies such as DHL or FedEx and uh, Inside every box, there are all the models needed for the final installation and uh, the line scheme and the guide for, for, for the installation. So everything you will need is inside the box. You will also receive all the blowing material for the installation based on the type of finish that you, uh, that you choose. So of course, if you go for uh, vinyl or uh, natural uh, substrate or paper substrate, you will receive a glue for that type of uh, finish if you choose the waterproof h2o uh, wallpaper finish you will receive the mape products that are uh, elaborated for for this type of finish so this is something that we will talk about later on just to give you an idea of different projects we did with our uh, waterproof wallpaper so you see that it really goes everywhere Okay, um, before leaving the word to Nathaniel, I'd just like to uh, point out this section of our website, which is called Download Area, uh, which is very important. Uh, so let's log in with my credential. Okay, so if you uh, log in, so you just need to sign up and then log in. And this download area is uh, pretty interesting because you can actually download all the graphics that uh, are uh, here on our website for both decorative panels and wallpapers and they are in a way that you can actually use it on your renderings in a pretty good uh, resolution so you see here all the different full environments they are all divided by collection so very easy to find what you are looking for and this is very useful when you are doing a rendering for uh, for your client this helps a lot to understand how the final uh, job will look like. Uh, in the download area, you can also choose to download our uh, videos, so technographical videos, especially made for social media channels. So this is something useful because uh, you can actually use it on your own uh, social media channels to promote your brand and our products for your uh, show or your shop. 
and these um, videos are ready to be used on social media, so perfectly made for Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Uh, so they are ready to go, and uh, I would suggest you download it and use it if you are working with us. You can download all uh, the most recent uh, wallpaper and the product planning catalog, catalogs, and then some information about us and about our promotional material. Um, just to give you a final info, um, in about two three weeks we will be ready to come out with uh, we will come out with our 2021 uh, work over and catalog, which will uh, uh, include both wallpaper and the current funds. And uh, of course we will uh, uh, let this uh, catalog be seen by all our clients, and we will dispatch them to our most important clients. And if you are um, if you want to request a copy of the catalog, just let us know. You can write us an email at workcoverings at technographica.net and we will make sure to let you have one. Uh, the catalog is also pretty interesting because at, uh, at the end of it, you can actually see and touch the actual materials. So there are uh, samples of the different wallpaper substrates. Um, yeah, I think. I've said almost all, and so I will uh, leave the word to Nathaniel for this. Thank you, Stefano. Yes, I'll pass the uh, screen sharing to Nathaniel. Yes. Did you receive the notification? Yes. Okay, perfect. I did, and I think I'm sharing now, but please let me know. Uh, yes. We see your screen. You Perfect. can see my screen. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, Stefano, for the very informative presentation, very inspirational also in terms of design and uh, for the introduction, Chiara. Um, uh, as for most of the, our participants, I hope most of you know already MAPE, but for those of you who do not, I'd like to take the opportunity to give you just a very quick introduction of who we are. Um, MAPE is a manufacturer of construction chemicals of Italian origin, now a multinational uh, manufacturer, born in, in Milan, Italy in 1937. So this year, coming in 2021 in February, we are going to have our 84th uh, birthday. And for 84 years, we have been developing a wide range of, of solutions for the construction industry for all different types of building starting from new building projects, fund infrastructure, also uh, renovations, and even our new marine line for the shipping industry. Uh, all told, we have a consolidated turnover of 2.8 billion euros uh, in 2019, hoping to reach the same mark this year in 2020. More than 10,000 uh, collaborators, employees worldwide, and 5% of our total turnover is reinvested in our uh, research and development department to continue expanding and developing new and sustainable technology for the construction and, and building industry. Uh, one of our pillars of success is specialization. And specialization is something that we see through focus on different product lines. Currently, we offer 20 different product lines for different phases and different types of uh, uh, construction. And in each one of those product lines has a product line, uh, corporate product line manager, specialist, technical support team, as well as regional product line managers, and sometimes even local product line managers helping to develop and, and give the best technical support and service in that line. As you can see here, we are a very diverse company with a diverse offering of products, more than 5,000 all told throughout these different 20 lines. And they range from products for traditional installing ceramic tile and stone materials, as well as resin floorings, as well as uh, additives for concrete admixtures and for cement grinding aids. Everything down to the installation of resilient LVT uh, and textile floor and wall coverings, which is what we're here to talk to you about today in the, in the red line here. Uh, with our presence, our second uh, one of our second pillars of, of success is internationalization. That means bringing MAPE much closer to our customers, and we've done that over the last 84 years of expansion with 83 manufacturing facilities that are spread out through the five continents and 90 subsidiaries with which to reach and serve our customers throughout the world. Uh, every day, more than 20 million tons of, of product are shipped by MAPE to customers through different building sites worldwide. 
So that's a little bit about MAPE, and then just a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Nathaniel Woodhead. I am the Regional Product Line Manager for the Resilient uh, Products Installation System for the Latin American market. Uh, and it's a pleasure to be here with everybody today and have the opportunity to talk to you about our new Decor Line. Um, the, our Decor Line was launched in the Domotex exhibition in 2020, in January of this year, even though it seems like forever ago. Uh, when we were still participating in public exhibitions and we could have the opportunity to receive everybody personally in our stand. And our, and our new innovation for Domotex this year was a line of products specifically aimed at decorative wall covering installations for new construction and for remodeling. And that includes uh, for dry areas and for wet areas, in many cases, minimizing the necessity to do costly removal as well as uh, a time-consuming removal of existing coverings. So the decor uh, system for wallpaper and decorative fiberglass in dry areas, and as well as for vinyl wall covering and fiberglass in wet areas. And the idea here is that for wet areas, uh, we're gonna be talking about vinyl wall coverings with non-woven backing, not with paper backing, and of course also for fiberglass. So the, the, the wall covering must be recommended for use in wet areas and in the case of vinyl wall coverings with paper backings which are organic materials and break down in the presence of water those are not recommended for this type of an application uh, when we go a little bit closer in and we can see that uh, we have a very easy to, rem to remember naming system for these products the ultrabond echo decor dry is our solution for installing wallpaper in dry areas such as what we see here in the picture it's a one component ready to use acrylic based polymer and water dispersion adhesive which comes in a very convenient packaging of three kilos uh, which very easy to ship and it's designed to have a maximized number of buckets per pallet but also for uh, shelf use and we and ultra one echo dry can be applied over absorbent substrates to to install all different types of wallpapers whether they be uh, vinyl wallpaper also uh, fiberglass and, and wallpapers with uh, non-woven fabric backings. Uh, Uchman Echo Decor Dry uh, is very easy to apply, can either be applied by trowel or by roller, uh, has a very low consumption and by roller application 150 to 200 grams per square meter, by trowel for heavier wallpapers can be 200 uh, grams or, or more, uh, and it's also formulated to be very fast drying. This means that you can apply by roller onto directly onto the absorbent substrate and with a very short amount of waiting time, you're ready to install the wallpaper. However, during 20 minutes, you can still position it or size it so that you can perfectly match the pattern. In keeping with our Ultraban Echo, Decor, uh, Ultraban Echo line of products, these products are EMI code EC1 Plus certified for the lowest possible uh, uh, VOC emissions in their field. The sister product for Ultraban Echo Decor Dry is Ultraban Echo Decor Wet. This is the product, the solution, as Stefano mentioned several times, for installing fiberglass coverings in wet areas, also vinyl coverings with non-woven backing. Uh, Utman Equor Decor Wet is part of a system that includes also the Mapicoat Mapi Decor Protection. Uh, this is a combination of products to, do the, to adhere the wall covering to the surface and also use a polyurethane two-component aliphatic sealer to protect the wall covering and as well the seams versus the water that could, that could come in, in contact during a shower or in a wet area application. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at these two products to understand a little bit better how they work. Ultraman Echo Decor Wet is a one component MS polymer or hybrid polymer adhesive. Basically comes in a three kilo bucket, the same as the dry. However, it's sealed on the top with an aluminum foil seal that you must cut to open to use. That protects it against the, the humidity because this is a 100% solids adhesive that will cure once it's exposed to the humidity of the air. It's very, very easy to apply. It's a, it's a uh, gel consistency and a very light green color when it's in the bucket. And you apply it over the substrate with a smooth trowel or a small tooth trowel and a, a very low, a low quantity. Once you've installed it, you can immediately place the wall covering. There's no waiting time and you have 90 minutes of working time, which makes it easy for you to be able to slide, position, match the pattern of the sheets, but also if necessary, remove a sheet and reinstall it. Uh, once it's been applied onto the substrate and it starts to cure, it becomes totally transparent, which allows you to see the marking lines for the pattern of the wallpaper, but also allows you to, uh, if for some reason you have 
adhesive come through the wallpaper in the case of a woven fabric like a like fiberglass it is uh it doesn't stain or change the appearance of the wall covering it's also aliphatic which means it doesn't yellow and it's very resistant to the ultraviolet lights and that's important to make sure that doesn't change in color or make a uh, photographing in the seams of the wall covering and furthermore, in keeping with the Ultra Bond Echo line, it's of course the EMA code EC1 Plus certified for very low VOC emissions. Once the wall covering has been installed with Ultra Bond Echo Decor Wet, you can immediately go ahead and start coating it with the Mappy Coat Decor Protection. And all of the wet area applications, we're going to recommend this system of both products used together. Mappy Coat Decor Protection comes in a small 1.2 kilo kit, part A and part B which you're going to mix together and then very easily apply with a short napped roller or a polyurethane applicated roller sealer. And that is going to be done typically in one coat is sufficient to provide the necessary level of protection. The idea here is that we're gonna sufficiently seal the joints of the seams of the wallpaper so that we eliminate the possibility of, of water getting in or getting underneath of them. And also we're gonna maintain a protective surface over the entire area of the wall covering. Uh, because it's an aliphatic polyurethane, that means that it's also resistant and won't yellow when it's exposed to direct sunlight or ultraviolet rays. And it also helps to protect the wall covering in this way. Um, and, and the Mapico Decor Protection is resistant to most of the common aggressive chemicals that can be used during the cleaning process, for example, in shower situations. Uh, so we'll take a look here at our full system and a normal installation. So when we talk about uh, dry areas, we're generally going to be talking about drywall or in some cases a cement or a plaster render. So we'll start with an application of Ecoprim T, uh, T Plus Primer, which is an acrylic based uh, primer that will be applied directly by a paint roller to the substrate. The idea here is that we're going to minimize the dusting of the surface and also uh, homogenize the absorption of the substrate. So that when we apply plenty prep contract white, uh, we're going to create a nice solid white base over the substrate by which we're going to be able to apply our adhesive and not have to be concerned with possible shadowing of the wall covering in the future. I'll talk about that a little bit later. So Utterbon, uh, immediately after the plenty prep contract is dry and able to be sanded, which is approximately 12 hours, and be sanded and then Utterbon Echo Decor dry applied with a paint roller to the surface and during the amount of open time, so about approximately five minute waiting time and 20 minutes of open time, immediately do the installation of the printed wallpaper. And that completes our system for the installation in dry areas. When we're considering wet areas, generally we're gonna be talking about different types of substrates. They could be cementitious backer boards, but in some cases they could be in remodeling existing ceramic tile. Uh, with the existing ceramic tile, it's always important that we consider that the surface of the tile needs to be completely clean and also that we need to check and sound the, the tiles to make sure that there are no hollow tiles, that there are no tiles that are a risk for at a future uh, delamination of the, of the wall covering. So after we've thoroughly checked and approved this and cleaned the ceramic tile, we're going to want to make an application directly with the plenty prep contract white, again, directly over the ceramic tile. The plenty prep contract white is important to create a solid white base, which will eliminate the shadowing or, or telegraphing of the ceramic tile through the new ceramic, uh, through the new wall covering that's going to be installed later. After 12 hours, when the plenty prep contract white is dry, we're going to proceed to install Utherbond Deco Deco wet and immediately install the, the wall covering. And once the wall covering has been installed, we can proceed to protect it with the Mappy Coat decor protection. And as you can see here on the, in, the, in, the, in the image on your screen, Mapico decor protection has an almost non-perceptive change in the wall covering. In other words, it's a very low gloss uh, surface that doesn't change the aesthetic value of the wall covering which is being applied. Taking a little bit of a closer look here at the system, we start with a plenty prep contract which is available in gray and white and can be applied directly over the existing ceramic tile or render. In some cases, the render can also be treated with primer. And a, and, and a cap, a layer of approximately two, two millimeters of thickness or a little bit larger when we're talking about the joints of the ceramic tile. Uh, the idea here is to create a smooth surface uh, that uh, is gonna be suitable for the installation of the wall covering. Plenty prep contract is dry between two to three hours in coats, and but after 12 hours, it has a sufficient abrasion resistance to be sanded and, 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 the, posterior, and the, the installation of the wall covering can begin. 
And as of course, with as keeping with all of the, the Mapace and Matitious products, it is uh, the, the CE marking for uh, compressive strength and flexural, and flexural strength. Uh, the sister product for the Plenty Prep contract is Plenty Prep 4 LVT. For those of you who know the MAPE system for installing uh, other types of floor co uh, coverings like LVT and wet areas, know the system that we've already we launched in 2015, which includes Plenty Prep 4 LVT, which is an acrylic one component ready to use uh, fast drying skimming compound. Basically, right out of the bucket, you can apply it with a flat trowel, and it's very easily troweled over the existing ceramic tile, and uh, also in layers of about two millimeters thick, and can also be done in three to four millimeters thick in the joint. Uh, once it's been applied, it typically takes about two hours before we can sand it and proceed with the installation of the wall covering. Uh, one of the interesting factors about the Plenty Prep 4 LVT is exactly that, the very fast time in which you can smooth over existing tile, and then proceed with the installation of the wall covering. So an idea of a faster installation system, we can apply the Plenty Prep 4 LVT. After two hours, we can sand the surface, and then we can immediately proceed with the installation of the Ultraman Echo Decor Wet. Uh, once Ultraman Echo Decor Wet has been applied to the substrate, we can, with no waiting time, install the fiberglass wall covering, and immediately after, we can protect the surface with the Mappy Coat Decker protection. That means that we have a system by which we can do an installation in one day, smooth the existing tile, apply the new fiberglass wall covering, and seal it uh, all in the same trip, all in the same day. Uh, in some situations, uh, depending on the country and some of the local, local regulations, it could be necessary to do a waterproofing coat prior to, to installing the new wall covering. And we want to do a waterproofing coat. Uh, in this case, we're showing a situation of a waterproofing coat over a new render or wall system. We're going to have the installation of the Plenty Prep contract to smooth out the wall system. In this case, it can be gray because later we're going to be covering it up with the, with the waterproofing uh, membrane. Uh, afterwards, we're going to treat the Plenty Prep contract with Ecoprim T+, and we can proceed to waterproof with Mapigum WPS. Uh, Mapigum WPS, for those of you know, it is a one component, extremely flexible liquid waterproofing compound, which is going to always be installed in two coats. Mapigum, in some countries, it's necessary to pigment the first coat. In this case, we would do that in the first coat, in the first coat blue, and then coat uh, the second coat with the gray so that we have that uh, white or whitish background that we need to be able to install the wall covering without worrying about photographing or shattering of the substrate. Uh, after 12 hours of the Mapicom WPS is drying, then we can proceed to install with the Ultimond Echo Decker wet uh, directly over the Mapicom WPS waterproofing membrane. Uh, and then finally, of course, the, the, the uh, fiberglass uh, wall covering uh, and finally the Mapico Decker protection installed over top. So this is the complete system when we need to also include the waterproofing of, and the shower stall. Uh, on this detail, uh, we don't show, but uh, it is ideal to treat the seam between the waterproofing and the, uh, I'm sorry, the fiberglass and the flooring or in the shower pan with a clear or silicone or MS clear crystal uh, sealant. So here we can see the application of the Mapigum WPS with the blue uh, the first coat and the, and the gray second coat. It's very fast drying. Uh, after only 12 hours, we're able to do the installation over top with uh, the Ultravon Aqua Decor wet. Very well. And uh, talking about tech our technical uh, documentation available on our website, and also some of these technical data sheets are available for you to download directly here from the documentation sector of this of this webinar. Uh, we have a, uh, the technical data sheets for each product uh, um, also in different languages available on some of the, the local national websites. But in addition, we have some uh, brochures which you can access on our mapade.com.it uh, with the Decor system and brochures and also the full line of solutions of products that we offer for resilient uh, LVT, PVC, and wall covering uh, installation. That includes our full uh, range of products for preparing the substrate, treating moisture, and also installing the, floor, the covering. I uh, hope that this has been quick and informative way to talk about the way that we can uh, provide installation solutions for these excellent uh, products from technographic and, and innovative design ideas that we have for uh, installing fiberglass wall covering in wet areas as well as in dry areas. Thank you very much, Dr. Um,
now. Uh, Stefano, you can share again um, your screen. Okay. Okay. So can you see? Can, uh, yes, everything is okay. working. Uh, so you can share the installation video if you want to. Yes. Okay. So right now we will see an uh, installation video that we recently did. And uh, this video will show uh, pretty simply how to install our uh, waterproof uh, H2O uh, wallpaper with the MAPE sealing products, especially made for this applications. While the video will uh, go on, me and Nathaniel will uh, uh, comment it in order to give you an idea of what's going on. So this is how you will receive the wallpaper models. This is the lane scheme that we, that we saw before. And this is the box where the models are uh, inside. Installation guide, technical features, and lane scheme are included inside the wallpaper box. And now I will leave uh, Nathaniel to give some information regarding how to prepare the wall. Right. Once the layout's been done and the lines have been marked, and then we're going to want to apply the adhesive right onto the prepared substrate. Here you can see the gel consistency and the kind of light greenish color. But once we've applied it with the smooth trowel over the surface, then uh, it will take on a transparent uh, appearance, which is good because you can see the lines which have already been marked. Uh, but also with the decor wet, um, as I mentioned in the presentation, there's no waiting time because there's no water to evaporate. So you can you can put it the wall covering immediately placed and then start to smooth it out with uh, with the smoothing spatula. Uh, generally speaking, uh, which you're going to want to apply the, the adhesive is one sheet at a time. You can put a little bit longer than that because we have 90 minutes of working time, and you can see the lines uh, one that have already been marked. Now, when you're in, uh, installing the adjacent sheet, it's important, of course, to turn to line up to match the pattern, which has been uh, schematically designed by Technografica. But if for some reason you need to reposition or move the sheets, it's possible to do so during 90 minutes of working time with the uh, with, uh, with one Echo Decor Wet. Yes, uh, I just want to point out uh, something that you are seeing here right now. So the fact that the models, uh, there is no overlap in between models, but you just need to put one uh, roll after the other and you will find and you will reach uh, the continuous design of, uh, of the lane scheme. Right, and very easy to cut once it's been placed with a, with, with, a, with a sharp blade and then we're ready to go forward, like as I mentioned in the presentation, with the Mapico uh, Decor Protection. So we're gonna there mix the, part, the two components um, and then apply with a very short napped roller. We're looking to put a very thin coat and one e an even coat over total uh, the, the entire uh, surface. But um, again, important also to mention is the sealing between the joint of the floor and the wall with an approved sealant. In this case, we have the Mapiflex MS Crystal, which is a MS polymer sealant and, and uh, transparent, but also there are available others in color, Mapicio LM, for example, with colors. Cool. This is the final effect, the final project. As you can see here, so um, something I didn't mention before, but I think it was obvious, but uh, I say it anyway because I think it's important. So as you can see here, uh, the, the thing we need from the clients or from the artists, from the designers who is uh, actually working on, on a project where he would like to put um, one of our wallpaper, either waterproof or other uh, type of substrates. Uh, the thing we need to know are uh, the sizes of the wall, so base per eight. And in this way, we can actually create a visual presentation or a lane scheme, as we saw before, to show you exactly what you will get. Uh, this is something that we also do in order to have a final confirmation from the client, since, uh, uh, again, everything is made on demand, so we need to have a confirmation before producing uh, uh, the product. And uh, as you will see, as you see here in this, uh, in this final frame, this is the final effect, which is uh, very, very close to the lane scheme that uh, the client will receive together with uh, with the wallpaper. I think important to mention also, Stefano. Uh, here we yes. see a very, how quick and easy this process can be to create a, a, a strong impact uh, uh, visual effect, but a very fast remodeling, even for new construction, but also for remodeling to be able to install uh, these fiberglass decorative wall coverings and put them into use immediately. Yes, exactly. And also, uh, I'd like to say that. With this new Mapei product, also the installation process uh, become 
um, way quicker, way quicker. So you don't have to wait two days, but you can do everything in one day or, or half a day, like in this case. And everything is pretty smooth and, uh, and simple. Okay, Perfect. so now, Chiara, if you would like to proceed with the questions, we are yes. good to go. We can start with the Q&A session since we have uh, some questions. Um, the first one is for Nathaniel, and it's uh, pretty specific. Robert asks, in a wet area, is it possible to use an acrylic adhesive like ultra-bond ecodic or dry? If, as protection, I use several coats of the protective finishing, mappy coat, vector protection? Uh, it's a good question, and it's important to consider that uh, the uh, mappy coat decor protection is not a waterproofing membrane. It's, it's a very thin coat, even if we put more than one coat. Um, it's important that the adhesive that's used is also uh, the, the Ultraban Decor Decor Wet, which is a hydroepellent adhesive. So um, we don't want to use ever the acrylic adhesive in the wet area. So we're always going to use the, the complete system, the Ultraban Decor Decor Wet, and the Muppy Coat Protection. But even though we put two or three or four coats of the Decor Protection, that doesn't mean that we have totally protected against any possible water infiltration. So we always need to have the two product system. Thank you. Uh, then a question for Stefano. Uh, Sandra asks, is it possible to print a customized design on the waterproof wallpaper? Uh, yes, it's possible. With, uh, on our waterproof wallpaper as uh, on uh, the other finishes that we, that we provide. Uh, there are basically two types of custom design. Either you send us a picture that you would like to have printed on, a, on one of our substrates. So this means that you need to send us a picture which is at least 100, 150 dpi in order to be printed in high resolution uh, in a very big size. Otherwise, if in, and usually this second case uh, happens when we talk about commercial projects or important projects. Uh, since our experience in uh, the design field, we are pretty strong in terms of uh, creating a design from scratch. So if there is a request, for example, of a hotel where they would like to do uh, 100 rooms with uh, different designs in every room or with uh, two or three designs to be repeated in 100 rooms, and these designs need to be uh, made from scratch, this is something we can also do. Uh, usually we start from concepts or from ideas that the clients uh, uh, give us and based on what they are looking for we can create something from scratch. Of course this is something that happens most of the time with bigger projects but it is uh, definitely possible. Perfect, thank you. Uh, then I have um, a question uh, that both of you can answer to actually. Uh, what type of cleaning products can be used uh, to clean this kind of wool covering? Um, so I will just answer for the uh, technographica uh, point of view. So let's say that the uh, other finishes, so not the H2O but the other ones, the vinyls and the natural uh, wallpaper, they are all uh, cleanable, so they can be cleaned with neutral detergent and they are pretty strong uh, wallpaper. So uh, there is no, usually no problem in terms of uh, cleaning this type of, uh, of finishes with uh, wet uh, uh, product or with neutral detergent. Of course, you, uh, I don't suggest you to uh, take a glass of wine and, and uh, put it all on the on the wall, but uh, for other types of uh, issues, uh, it is cleanable. While for the waterproof uh, wallpaper, I will let Nathaniel respond since the final uh, layer of uh, in this type of uh, wallpaper is the final uh, mappe protection. Right. In the case of the wet area application with the coat Deco Protection, or even if uh, someone chooses to use it in a dry area to have additional protection or cleaning, we recommend using a, um, a neutral type of a cleaner to a non-aggressive neutral type of a cleaner, uh, when possible, understanding in the shower that uh, some of the typically used shower cleaning products are, are also a little bit more aggressive. But uh, obviously, uh, for cleaning the wall, with, uh, we're talking about the, with a, a general neutral cleaner over the wall surface. Uh, our laboratory are currently in the process of uh, developing a specific list of recommended uh, products which can be used without any type of effect on the Mapicot Decor Protection. Uh, and hopefully, uh, uh, shortly, we will be able to have a more complete list. But uh, in general speaking, uh, regular neutral wall cleaning uh, uh, detergents are, are acceptable. 
Thank you. Uh, with reference uh, to the protection, Davide asks, uh, do we need to repeat uh, the final coating? Uh, the, uh, the final coating should have a very long amount of uh, durability. I mean, uh, it's a very high resistant uh, uh, polyurethane coating, which won't be subject to traffic, basically, you know, because you're not uh, walking over the surface. It's a wall surface. So um, it should not be necessary to repeat. Uh, but if, uh, for example, you, you notice a, a, a difference in the surface, possibly by using uh, excessive uh, aggressive chemicals in the cleaning, it is possible to apply another coat over the surface uh, very easily, clean the surface and directly apply uh, a second coat. Thank you very much. And then Stefano. Uh, Helena asks, is it possible to use a waterproof wallpaper also uh, in a wellness center or spa? Uh, it really depends based on the type of, uh, of projects. You know, usually for this type of request, we ask the client to give us all the information they have regarding the project itself. And through our um, technical department, we can <clears throat> evaluate the project itself and uh, give a final uh, info regarding if it's possible or not. So all the situations are actually pretty different one to another. So uh, sometimes it, may, it might happen that uh, the wall is just close to the spa and not really inside. Uh, the Turkish bathroom, let's say, or in other cases, the opposite. So, um, as we usually do for this type of projects, uh, I always uh, suggest to work uh, in this way and with this procedure. So, to have all the information from um, um, from the project, from the client, uh, evaluate internally with our technical department, and we can also uh, collaborate with Mafei in this case and ask uh, their opinion as well. And then together, we will give it, um, a response to, to the client itself. Thank you. Uh, so it's a very it's a very political answer, but it's uh, it's a, it's, a, it's like this. <laughs> okay, thanks, um, Michael, uh, who um, I, I believe uh, um, already uh, tested both the Technographicas and Mafei's products. Uh, As uh, Nathaniel, can you confirm the availability of Mafei's products in the United States? Um, I, I can't confirm because in the United States, uh, we have not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, launched uh, this product yet, but I believe it's uh, something which is coming. Uh, however, what I can do is, um, is make a, a contact directly for Michael with our, our local responsible product manager in the United States to be sure that um, he can have all of the access to the, to the information. And to, so after the webinar, I'll be sure to give him uh, the contact directly of the person in the United States that can answer if uh, we currently have the product available. Thank you. Um, then uh, for Stefano, Simon and Jessica, and both of them, they ask, can the wallpaper be installed on the ceiling or outdoor? Uh, okay, so these are two different questions. So um, on the ceiling, there, are, there is no problem. So wallpaper, as you as you saw, it's uh, it's very thin, it's very light. And this is our fiberglass, but also all the other finishes are very very light. And then can be installed with normal glue, so uh, there is absolutely no problem in installing the wallpaper on ceilings. We also have actually a project where we where you can actually see very well uh, this type of installation. Let's see if I can find it. In 10 seconds. Should be right here. Okay, I can find it. No, that's one. That's the one. Uh, okay, so this is um, just to give you an idea of project where we install wallpaper on the ceiling. So this is a ceiling. Uh, this is not um, fiberglass wallpaper, so not be the one that we are talking about today. It's a vinyl one, but it would be the same for, for the waterproof. Of course, for this type of installation, uh, I would suggest to go with a vinyl one. With a, with a, it, it depends on the type of projects, of course. But in this case, it, will use, uh, it was used a vinyl wallpaper. So no problem in installation on ceilings. While the other question is uh, another story. So uh, right now we uh, are not presenting wallpaper for uh, external uh, applications. So for the 
to be installed outside. We are working on new, um, on new, on new products, on new materials, on new substrates with our R&D department. But right now, we're not uh, yet ready with a product to be used outside in terms of, uh, of work overs. Thank you. Uh, then, Nathaniel, uh, David asks, can we use MAPI coated decor protection also in a dry area? Uh, uh, MAPI coated decor protection can be used in dry areas or in wet areas because also it has very good resistance to ultraviolet uh, light and can be an additional protection to, to put over the surface. Um, in addition, uh, our our technical department uh, are working on uh, a, a new product that, that should be available shortly as a, uh, a a product more specifically designed for the dry area. And so, without all of the the same uh, performance characteristic as the as the uh, Mappy Code Deco uh, protection, because uh, obviously thought about for the wet areas, there's a lot more considerations that need to be taken into place for the dry areas. So. For now, uh, it can be used, uh, but uh, also pay attention in the future that we should be very shortly uh, launching a new product for specifically for that use. Thank you. Um, then I have uh, two last questions, uh, one for each other. So I just uh, read them both. Uh, the first one is for Nathaniel. Thomas asks, how can we better manage the joint between the wall and the shower pan? And for Stefano, Sylvia asked, is there a minimum size for each order of wallpaper? I'll let you answer. Okay. Okay. If you, if you want to, I can answer mine, which is pretty quick. Uh, so okay. there is no, there is no uh, minimum quantity in terms of, uh, of wallpaper that you can order, since everything is made on demand based on project. Uh, usually the minimum order that we, uh, we, we sell out or we dispatch is, uh, an, a3 size sample like this one so this is uh, the size of the samples that we ship out and these are very useful to for the clients to understand how the final design will look like in uh, in the in the chosen finish and also to give an idea of the colors of the uh, resolution and everything but in general no minimum quantity okay Okay, my turn. So the so the uh, the finish between the floor, uh, the, the the or the shower pan or the floor and the wall is a very critical area always in, when we're talking about bathrooms, especially or, or showers. So uh, the best way is that especially if we're talking about a remodeling, then we're going to be installing the wall covering after the shower pan is already in place a lot of the time. So we'll finish directly to the edge of the shower pan and then seal that joint with the Mapiflex MS Crystal sealant, which is a transparent, uh, extremely resistant uh, sealant to, to, to treat that joint, uh, or Mapiseal LM uh, silicone sealant, if we need it to have color. Um, when uh, also, also depending on the, the type of use, it could be that the wall covering is installed prior to the flooring, but even after which, once the flooring is installed, that joint should still be sealed because we want to try to minimize the potential for water that can come and get underneath of the of the wall covering. So those would be the uh, always in that and in, in that joint is a critical joint and should always be sealed, uh, preferably with the Mapiflex via uh, MS crystal sealant. Okay. Uh, cool. I, I think Chiara, uh, sorry. Yeah. Chiara, can I read a last question that I see here and I think it might be interesting to oh, yes. answer to. Uh, yes, so please. I see here that uh, Lene um, is asking, uh, is your natural paper a non-woven material and could this be used in what areas for the correct MAPE products? Okay, so I'd, uh, I'd like to read this one because I think it's interesting in terms of answering uh, also another question. Um, so our natural wallpaper, it's it's not a non-woven material. So it's a, cellulite, a celluloid fiber material, so it's 100% celluloid fiber. Um, and I will not suggest to use this in wet environments, uh, even with a correct product uh, on top of it. Um, while our vinyl wallpapers, so the one that we call fabric, TNT, and skin, uh, this can be used at, uh, usually in wet environments. Of course, I'm not talking about the shower box, but I'm talking about, for example, the, the wall in front of the sink. So in that particular world, wall, uh, 
my opinion, it's better to use, and also in the opinion of the company, it's better to use a vinyl wallpaper uh, than a, a waterproof uh, wallpaper. Of course, it depends by every project. But if, if, it, if it's just a small wall where there are some, uh, just some uh, uh, drops of, um, of water can, uh, can drop on, uh, on, the, on the wall itself, Sometimes it's better to use a vinyl wallpaper and then uh, co the correct material uh, protection on top of uh, on top of the finish. So uh, while the waterproof wallpaper that we, we saw during this webinar is perfectly uh, suitable for wet environments, projects such as uh, backsplash or backsplashes or kitchen uh, or uh, bathrooms, shower boxes. So. It depends, even in this case, uh, projects to, to project. But sometimes we suggest uh, to the client to choose either a vinyl wallpaper than, than, a, uh, than a waterproof one, if this is the case. Uh, if it's the case like this, for the one that I just, uh, I just mentioned. I, I just wanted to, to, to read this one to give also, because we, we, we get this, uh, this question a lot. Yes. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so guys, thank you very much for uh, all your explanations. I, I think we um, answered all the questions. And uh, um, still, if you have uh, other questions or doubts, you can uh, contact us uh, both, uh, Technographic and Notay, through our websites. And uh, um, if you haven't uh, downloaded the PDF files yet, please do it now. Um, then, okay. Um, if you need anything else, you can find us on our website. And uh, again, thank you, Nathaniel, for your participation. Thank you, Stefano. And see you. <laughs> see you on the next webinar. Thank you. Yes. Thank Thanks. you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. It's a pleasure. Take care. Take care.